Hey, what's up guys? It's Marcus Brownlee here from MKBHD, and welcome to another HD tutorial in which I'll be showing you a piece of freeware called DeskTube, which is actually a YouTube viewing client in which you don't actually go into your browser and view YouTube videos, but you can interact with YouTube.com through a piece of freeware. So let's just get right into this, guys. <music> So like I said before, DeskTube is the name of the piece of software, and I'll provide a link in the description for you guys to go ahead and download this piece of software. But uh, once you've downloaded and installed it, you will actually have a number of shortcuts, one in your start menu, one in your uh, quick launch bar, and one on your desktop. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I've left the one on my desktop, and here's what it looks like. So I'm going to double click this so you guys can see how long it takes to open. And just like that, you've opened up DeskTube. So it's probably going to take about as long as it does for YouTube.com to open. Well, there's actually a new release bug fix, but I'm going to cancel that so I can get on with this tutorial and show you guys some neat things about uh, DeskTube. So this is DeskTube itself. Basically, you have a number of options along the top, a number of sub-options uh, as kind of a second layer, a search box over here on the left-hand side, a YouTube player, and some video uh, scanning you know, privileges. So up here on the top, obviously, when you're signed in, you'll be able to view a number of things. You can hit the watch button to simply watch videos, hit playlist, and you'll go ahead and log in. Now I'll just log into MKBHD0 and hit the login button, and you'll be able to view all your playlists. I actually don't have any playlists, but when you open one, it opens in a separate window, which is actually a nice feature in some cases, but in other cases, not so much. I'll get into that. So you have playlists, you have your subscriptions, which also opens up in a second window. You have the ability to record videos directly in here and upload it to YouTube, so that's a great feature, something you would have expected in a, a Mac OS X equivalent, uh, such as QuickTime X. You can upload videos from this client. You can also video chat and update your Twitter and Facebook status in DeskTube. So one of the advantages of the DeskTube desktop YouTube video player is that you can actually record and upload videos directly from this client, and it'll actually be a pretty good speed and quality too. For example, if you see the record button up here on the right hand side, if you click this record button, it'll actually bring up this quick capture widget in its own separate window, and you can go ahead and have uh, your preview right there, so you can just be dragging it to the top of the screen where your webcam is, and looking directly at it, and you'll be able to record your video pressing that button right there. You can adjust volume grain and video quality and then upload your video straight from there. Once you're done recording, obviously you can upload it using this upload button right here. You select a file and you go ahead and upload it and it's pretty darn quick, guys. So another thing that I like about the DeskTube player is that you can actually watch videos in a pop-out window, which is actually something that's been available on YouTube as a new feature for about a month now. And I kind of like that you're able to do this. Say I'm watching this Jumbo Fun video right here in the main YouTube player, or the DeskTube player. All you have to do up at the top right hand side is hit that little arrow out button, click it, and it'll open up your video in widescreen, high quality, in a new video window. So you don't have to worry about any sort of distractions while watching your YouTube video. It's right there in the middle of your screen, perfectly clean desktop pop-out player, and it works very nicely. When you're done watching the video, just exit out, and it brings back up the DeskTube homepage. The last notable feature of the DeskTube player are the subcategories underneath the usual expected. Now, as you guys know, YouTube can sort its videos by top rated, top favorited, most viewed, etc. You can actually view these categories in the DeskTube player, and it's quite nicely integrated. All you have to do is select your category by clicking, and it will sort them in the left hand side by most viewed. Now, these are most viewed of all time, so we might want to change that to uh, most viewed of a certain time period, but you get the point. Most discussed over here on the right hand side, or recently featured, etc. All of these videos will show up in the left hand side of the DeskTube player. The last notable feature of the DeskTube widget, and also what I think is one of the most uh, interesting features, is that you can actually view a YouTube video before you click it, meaning a small 10 to 15 second preview of the video before you actually click on it to comment, rate, and interact in other ways with the video. So go ahead and hover over the thumbnail and you'll notice a red swipe across and an audio and video playback uh, follows that and ends up being your video preview. All you have to do is move your mouse off of the preview and your preview is pretty much played. Now you know if you want to watch the video or not.
So overall, guys, I really like the desk tube player. It's it's looking pretty flashy. I like the way that it, it runs. It's very nice, clean, uh, almost a metallic sort of look. So I do like the way it looks. Um, there are a few pros, a few cons with this player. But overall, I have to say, if I were to give this a hardware sort of rating, I know I don't do that often, I would give this an 8 out of 10. It's a very solid player. I'd give it a B. So um, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this hardware, this software review, I apologize. And I'm um, just going to exit out of DeskTube here. But if you guys do want to download the software, your link will be in the description. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And thank you for supporting the MKBHD YouTube channel. And thank you for watching this video. So, again, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.